Welcome it, everyone, you're on Corn This Way. Happy Monday, Huskers. Hell, happy game week. That's right, we've made it. Five days away from seeing college football. All the buildup, all the mystery, all the nerves about this upcoming season. We're going to find out a hell of a lot on Saturday in Dublin, Ireland. Busy week end. We told you it was going to be, right? The big press conference. Yeah, it was yesterday. Why? Because as of right now, as we know, Nebraska on their way to Ireland. Hell, nine to 10,000 of you, based on estimates, on your way or about to be on your way to Ireland. Our crew in a cargo ship on the way to Ireland. Okay, press conference. We heard from Scott Frost. We heard from the new captains. We heard from the starting quarterback, the first time since being named said starting quarterback. Let's get into some of it. Okay, the transfers. We've talked about this a lot, right, building up into the season. We know that a key part of Nebraska's success or failures this year going to be part of those transfers. Another element of it yesterday came out when Scott Frost made this comment. Give a listen. It's a confident group right now. Um, and I'd point to some of the new guys for that. I think one of the best things about uh, the changes that have been made is we've added a lot of really confident guys. Um, I'd point to Trey Palmer, Marcus Washington. Uh, some of those guys are almost confident to a fault, and our, our offense needed a little injection of that. I um, think the coaches have done a good job with that too, and uh, has a little bit different feel to it. I, I wouldn't say the X's and O's identity has changed a whole lot, but um, maybe the overall attitude has. Okay, a little swag factor there, right? We've talked about swag factor on this show. That's probably a big one. A lot of parts of Nebraska's football culture, awesome, right? A lot of the parts of their recent football culture, not awesome. So having some new people come in with some new energy, some swag of their own, some success at other places just in terms of wins, that's not a shot on Nebraska, it's just wins, right? Probably a damn good thing for this football team. In injected swag, so to speak, right? You gotta like it. Speaking of swag, how you like Scott Frost's glasses there yesterday? It's good luck! It's dignified. It's a regal Scott Frost, right? Black rims, it's a great way to go. I dug him. All right, speaking of things I also dug, Casey Thompson. Damn, this dude is impressive, right? You kind of get enamored listening to him speak because he is a senior statesman. He's been around the game for a while, and it's also one of the reasons why he's the starting quarterback and one of the leaders on this team. All right, here's something he said yesterday that really stood out to me, all right? He's impressive when he speaks. Listen to his breakdown of Northwestern's defense. If we had a trophy for press conference performance, here you go, Casey, there's your trophy. Thankfully for Nebraska fans and the team, he has a hell of a lot of higher ambitions than just a press conference trophy. I'm just continuing to strive for perfection. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever get there in a practice or a game, but like I said, the, the chip on my shoulder is bigger now than it ever was, and I'm just trying to be um, a, a winning quarterback and play at a high level for this team. Even being... Uh, named the starter, I felt like that, um, you know, I, I enjoyed it probably for a night because it happened on the off day uh, that we had, so I was able to enjoy it for a night. But, no, I haven't really reflected or sat back or anything. Hopefully um, at the end of the season, whenever we're uh, competing for a championship, I'll be able to sit back. That's an interesting term to hear, right? Championship football. You're going to aim, aim high. So one of the reasons why he's a leader on this team. And that chip on the shoulder, he's polite. I told you he's a senior statesman. He's not going to talk a lot of trash on others. But, you know, I think he probably feels wronged at Texas, the way things went down there. He has a lot to prove to the college football world, to himself, and to, you know, this Nebraska fan base and these teams. I think that's a hell of a thing for Nebraska football. That might be perfect timing for everyone involved. Okay, as we mentioned, captains, they were named yesterday. Two native Nebraskans on that list, Garrett Nelson, Nick Henrich, along with Caleb Tanner and Travis Volkolek. Three of those dudes on the defensive side, which speaks to also just the leadership capabilities and maybe how good, knock on wood here, that the defense is capable of being in 2022. I start pondering, what's it take to be a captain? They said a lot of people got votes. It's probably a pretty tough roster to become a captain on. What kind of characteristics leads to that? I heard Garrett Nelson say something a little bit later, my ears perked up on. I found this very interesting. Give a listen. Or that I would never let younger guys, whenever I got to this spot or whatever, um, feel the way that I did when I came in, just kind of thrown out to the wolves and figure it out. So I'm um, trying my hardest, trying my best to um, help those guys, teach those guys, this is how you watch film, this is how you do this, this is how you practice. Um, not like saying they needed a complete overhaul, but uh, just things that I wish I would have heard. How to do techniques properly, how to watch film, how to break down different offenses, um, how to be a f good college football player. So how to figure that out. Um, you know, mostly mostly on by myself, but like I said, with the with Coach Doss coming in, um, 
So it's kind of accelerated that, and I finally had somebody to tell me what I needed to hear. That was interesting, right? Little insights into maybe some of the faults in Nebraska's culture when Nelson came into this program as a freshman. The second part of that, I think a lot of people can relate to because it's life, right? You want things better for others, whether it's your kids, your family, your coworkers, your teammates. You want to leave something better than what you found it. You want a better path for them, right? That's a noble cause. And that's probably one of the characteristics that makes Garrett Nelson a hell of a candidate to be a captain, which he now is. Pretty classy dude right there. Interesting insights into what it takes to become a captain at Nebraska. Okay, on to a couple house cleaning items here. We need to clarify some stuff that came up last week. One old, one new. Scott Frost started his press conference very early on, clarifying some comments he made about the offensive line and their supposed vomiting at practice. Yeah, I know. He had to come out and say this. We'll get into why. Take a look. Frost said he might have exaggerated on how often Nebraska's offensive linemen had been vomiting in practice. Quote, our training staff and weight staff are keeping me abreast of everything going on in practice, end quote. Why does he have to say this? Well, pretty simple. He shouldn't have said it in the first place. Not because, you know, he may have been joking, he may not have been joking, but here's the deal. It puts light on your program and has questions about the safety of your student athletes, right? You can't say those things. God forbid you get into litigation down the line, something as serious as a health issue, or even more so, say, um, a for hire or for cause or not cause firing of any coaching staff member, right? That's recorded. They can bring that stuff back out. So for that reason, Scott had to come out and say what he said. As we mentioned last week, they monitor these kids heavily. They have sensors on them that relay a lot of body metric information back to a training staff. So they are in a controlled environment. And that's what the focus should be on. If you say someone's, you know, say a group is vomiting that much, people are going to question it. Hopefully these comments put it to bed. I've had enough talking about vomiting. Vomit gate can go away. All right? There's that. Okay, second little thing that snuck into the press conference yesterday. There wasn't even a question directly asked about this. Frost just brought it up when speaking about the Northwestern game in general. Give this one a listen. You know, there's been th some things written about our team that I think have provided us a little extra motivation and, and could, could help us. Uh, so it's going to be two teams that are hungry over there. Whatever could Scott be talking about? <laughs> well, he didn't directly say, but we're going to take a pretty good guess at what he might have been referring to. I'm sure many of you have seen it at this point. It was an article last week in the Irish Times. What was it? Well, simply put, it was a pretty calculated river dance on issues within Nebraska's football culture during Frost's tenure all the way back to when Frost was a player. Yeah, it was a hit list. Okay, not going to get into everything on it because you can read the damn thing yourself. We've also chronicled so many of these things over the years as part of this staff here. All right, so I'm not going to get into that. Going to get into the emotions of it, right? Yeah, I could see if I read that, I might be a tad pissed off as a head coach. I also might be a tad pissed off as a player, right? Also, right before you go visit a country and something that should be a really cool event for everyone involved, you know, I don't know how many people have read that article in Ireland, but they might not have a real high opinion of Nebraska right now. You know, and if you want to indict that on Scott Frost and the things that are listed in the article, fine, have at it. That's a head coach's job. But I'm going to ask you this. If you're in Ireland and you're watching this show, which of you are, is really damn impressive. I would say this. Please don't judge the average Nebraska fan you're going to run into this week or, frankly, any current member of the Nebraska roster for the things you read. Okay, it's not indicative of the people of this state, I can promise you. I've been here long enough. I grew up around this, you know, as another fan base, right? I was a part of another fan base that played Nebraska a ton. I can tell you this. This is one of the most passionate and caring fan bases of any sports organization in the world, all right? It's a simple truth of it. The culture here is very unique. They're really good people, okay? Compare it to this, and I do this with all due respect. Football culture in Ireland, massive. Right? So think of it this way. If you're a supporter of the Shamrock Rovers or St. Patrick's and someone writes this about your team, you might be a tad pissed off. Okay? So understand their emotions in that. Don't blame them for what you read in that article. Have a pint this week. Talk it out. I can promise you the people of Nebraska and the student athletes on this roster, they're not that. Okay? They're good people. Please don't let that put a huge dark mark over what could be a really cool event this weekend in Dublin. Woo! All right, 
get off my damn high horse for a minute there, right? Getting all fired up. <laughs> okay, things to read. There's some good ones today. This one from Sam. His Monday Rewind today is deep. You need to read this article. Here's a headline. McEwen, a long runway's end, time to find Nebraska's true football identity under frost. That's some heavy stuff right there. You need to read this article. It has a ton of information into it. Sam gets into a lot of stats and analytics. It's kind of an annual thing he does. He's going to look at seven players you need to watch real closely. Some concepts you need to watch real closely. Read this thing and you will be an A-level smartass at the water cooler today when discussing things with your fellow fan or your fellow coworker. Also to read today, Tom Chattel. Love this headline. This is the jib we're after. Chattel. Talking season is over for Nebraska football. Hallelujah. Damn right, Tom. I think we've had enough of talking, right? I know I have. My voice is about gone. We're ready to play some damn football, and we're going to see it on Saturday in Ireland against Northwestern. You can read Tom's article there about all the emotions and all the buildup and the importance of this football game. Okay, upcoming busy damn week. It's game week. We're up on our, our level on here. A couple things we want to do. One, this one you need to listen to. Fan prediction show. That's right. You've heard the pundits. You've heard us throw our predictions out there. Who gives a crap what we think, right? I want to hear from the Nebraska fan. We're going to put up a social media post after this show. Give me your record you think Nebraska is going to get this year and a couple reasons for it. I'm going to take the best stuff. We're going to make a whole damn show about it tomorrow. We're going to hear what the pulse of Husker Nation is heading into the season opener against Northwestern. Okay, rest of the week. Here we go. Full team coverage from Ireland. Okay, Sam McEwen, Amy Just, Anna Reed, one of our brilliant visual journalists. They're over on their way to Ireland right now. We're going to have full coverage for you all week. Stay with us. Okay. Also, it's game week for something else, too. That's right. Nebraska volleyball. We're going to see them for the first time. That's going to be exciting. Friday, they got two games. Texas A&M, Corpus Christi, and Tulsa. You see Saturday night? A pretty much sold-out scrimmage. Scrimmage, right? God bless this state. That is such a cool thing to see. The front line for Nebraska. Yeah. Looking pretty damn good. Caitlin Hoard, the Penn State transfer, immediate impact for that team. Going to be very exciting to watch. We will get to see them for the first time this weekend. And then Saturday, 11.30 a.m. Nebraska time. Dublin, Ireland, Nebraska, Northwestern, the 2022 college football season underway. Thank the heavens, because it is time. Until that time, my friends, be all the GBR you can be. And remember, we're all just corn this way. <laughs>